Hello and welcome. Today I'll be talking about hypertension management in the form of non-pharmacological way or we call it life modification. Before I continue, kindly like, share and subscribe to my channel so that you'll never miss my subsequent videos. Before we continue, I'll be talking about hypertension management in form of uh, uh, non-pharmacological and before everything we should understand what is hypertension so we will be defining hypertension so that we can understand broadly what is hypertension before we continue hypertension simply means persistent elevated high blood pressure both systolic and diastolic blood pressure are high in systolic blood pressure we are talking of 140 millimeter of mercury and above and diastolic 90 millimeter of mercury and above all of this definition only it entail people with 18 years and above so that is a broad definition of hypertension then next we'll be talking about how to to diagnose hypertension diagnosis of hypertension is done through accurate uh, uh, accurate measurements of blood pressure the readings can be taken in a clinic when the patient visits you at the clinic or at home or during the movement we call it ambulatory blood pressure measurements so the blood pressure measurements should be at least for at least three days so that you can do the average to know that the patient has a high blood pressure one measurement does not qualify patient to be hypertensive so you should do at least three days measurements so that you can elicit that this person has blood pressure now let's move to the of high blood pressure we have two main management of high blood pressure we have two types of management of high blood pressure but within these two types of management of high blood pressure we have only one that is very important than the other the non-pharmacological way of management of hypertension is very crucial in management of hypertension as because without life modification there is no management of hypertension in people living with hypertension it will be so much hard for a doctor any uh, doctor to manage hypertension without having a good counseling to the patient on the importance of life modification when the patient comes in clinic you should always counsel have a very detailed counseling of the patient on the importance of how to modify the life his life or her life so that he or she can be able to maintain low blood pressure if he has or she has blood pressure so modification that we should do so that we can have low blood pressure life or is if you have hypertension and you are using alcohol we recommend that you temper down the alcohol intake and then later you quit the alcohol use alcohol is one of the factors that always will lead to high blood pressure alcohol always uh, make high blood pressure to go up, up so we always need to quit alcohol uh, for those any patient who is living with hypertension and he uses or she uses alcohol i recommend that you quit the alcohol slowly so that your blood pressure should go down the second and a very important also is smoking. tobacco smoking is a very very important way to talk about tobacco smoking will always lead to high blood pressure and we will always have a problem in bringing down the blood pressure so we recommend that you do away with the alcohol with the tobacco smoking so that you can have low blood pressure and later have a good prognosis another important life modification that we should do 
you should have a very a, a, a very scheduled adequate physical activity physical exercise so you should be having a daily physical uh, 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 exercise so that you can do away with the excessive fluid uh, retention and excessive fats in the body that may lead to a persistent high blood pressure so we all encourage people living with hypertension to do regular activities regular exercise so that we can do away with the, this particular disease number four important also is diet diet is a very important factor that we need to modify so that people living with the, uh, hypertension should uh, have code uh, prognosis and have could even uh, be keyword of the hypertension so one of the life modification that we should do in diet is number one is we should advise the patient to eat much of vegetable and a low fat dairy products when you talk of low fat dairy products we are talking of milk eggs cheese meat a lot of meat a lot of uh, sausages and anything that comes from dairy products they are very 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 uh, important in management of hypertension in form of non-pharmacological as they may lead to high blood pressure and elevated blood pressure and they will uh, lead to persistent elevated blood pressure so we should we recommend that people living with the hypertension they should have uh, they should reduce to eat uh, fatty dairy products because they tend to to increase blood pressure vegetables are very important fruits and vegetables are very important in lowering of blood pressure so in, in, uh, it's important for you to increase intake of this particular uh, 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 food so that you should uh, it it contain vitamin that will enable you to uh, lower blood pressure the second yes. factor or uh, second food that we should also have uh, to talk about is salt salt intake is not bad but a lot of salt intake and adding salt in food after preparation is not recommended so it's good to cook food with salt and never add salt after after cooking so and never use a lot of salt when you have hypertension it's very very important for you to reduce amount of salt to the minimal one for the only test so that you can do away with the, this particular disease salt intake should be minimized and also never add salt after in food after preparation number three factors that you should have uh, should use is you you eat protein from plants remember we talked about protein from dairy products we recommended that you reduce them but we recommend that we increase intake of products uh, protein from the plant sources so that you can maintain uh, fat in the body these products uh, protein from plants they are very essential as they are so much good and they are a minimum of raising blood pressure than those from dairy products we this one takes us to the third the fifth way of reduction or life modification or a reduction of blood pressure or we talked about exercise and now we are talking about reducing uh, weight weight reduction weight reduction weight reduction is very important as weight when weight increases you increase the probability of having high hypertension and persistent weight so we recommend that you do exercise and do other means that will enable you to reduce weight other means we talk about balanced diet so that we can reduce this particular disease uh, i have prepared that for you today and uh, i believe that in the next video i'll make 
a code video on how to uh, the food that we should use in people living with diabetic mellitus. We have reached the end of this video and I, I thank you all for being with me till the end. I hope you have learned something. See you in the next video. God bless you.